Hey everyone, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute, and today we're going to talk about perceptual blindness. Okay, so today I'm going to start off with a, a funny story that, that makes me look like a little bit of an idiot, but it's it's really amusing. So, you know, I, uh, I was at dinner with a, a friend a couple months ago, and uh, his son was talking about possibly getting a tattoo, and, you know, I looked at him and I was like, hey man, do you have a tattoo? And he looked at me like I had five heads because like I've been, you know, I've been to Costa Rica with this guy. I've been out on the boat with this guy. I've seen him with his shirt off a thousand times and he's like giant tattoo. And I had just never noticed. And I was like, man, that's so weird. And then I, after that, I started noticing that like a bunch of my friends have tattoos that I was completely zoned out, right? Like really close friends that I've seen, you know, that I've been swimming with many times. And they, some of them are like giant tattoos, right? Like one guy has like a giant tattoo that comes like all the way down here. And I just had just never noticed. I was completely perceptually blind to it. So yes, it's funny. We can laugh at Sean who, you know, doesn't see things that are right in front of his face. Um, but it's actually really interesting to think about how the brain processes information and it leads into some important lessons. So, you know, they say that you have, you know, several million bits of information coming in at any given time to your processing system. Um, you know, it, it, it's far more than, than you can process consciously, consciously. And so what the mind does is it deletes, distorts, and generalizes, and you get down to where you're processing somewhere between 100 and 150 bits of information at any given time. Now, how your subconscious chooses which bits for you to actually process is very important because that's based on your beliefs, on your values, on how you see the world, on your attitudes, on all of these other things. And so this is where this perceptual blindness comes from. I had never placed, you know, a lot of stock on the importance of tattoos. It didn't make a difference to me whether somebody had a tattoo or not. It was completely irrelevant to me, right? And so I didn't even notice whether it was there or not until it, you know, became like this funny point. And now, like, I always notice tattoos. Um, not intentionally. It's just my brain was like, ah, how could you not notice that? And so now, you know, now it's a thing. Um, but the question is, where in your life do you think there might be perceptual blindness? Many people say that there's no opportunity. I, I, I get comments all the time. Oh, well, you know, there's no opportunity. And then, you know, normally they'll go into some political spiel or whatever, which you know, it isn't, isn't helpful for them um, to be sitting in, right? Or, you know, people will be advocating for their own limitations. Oh no, I can't do this because of this and that. And there's no way, there's no way that I can do X, right? There's no possible way, this or that. And I look at this, and it reminds me of that whole thing with the tattoos. Because to me, what I'm seeing is perceptual blindness. Because I can see the opportunity, just like you know everybody else could see my friend's tattoos. Right? I can see the opportunity, but they're perceptually blind to it. And then you point it out to them and they'll give you a million reasons why it won't work rather than reevaluate their filters and whether or not their brains are actually filtering that information correctly, right? But if you want to actually be successful, you cannot have perceptual blindness to opportunity. You have to have openness to opportunity. You have to be paying attention to it. You have to be able to see it the way that I now see tattoos after this whole incident has occurred, right? So I would ask yourself, when you look around, are you seeing opportunity all around you? If you're not, then I would challenge you that there's probably a degree of perceptual blindness there. And I would challenge you to maybe find somebody else who does have a good sense of opportunity and ask them to start pointing stuff out for you so that you can start honing that and start changing that filter that isn't serving you. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that resonated with you, maybe a new connection that you made or, or some information that shifted your perspective, if you found value here, then I want to give you one last gift. So I've put together a free diagnostic that I call a checkup with the career doctor. Short list of questions and as you answer them, it's going to give you a readout of where you stand on the important metrics of career fulfillment, right? How happy are you with your job and how good a fit is it, right? Financial success, which we all know, and then internal alignment, which is your level of inner peace and the inner resources that you have to bring to creating the life that you want. Additionally, it's also going to show you which areas you can improve on to, to get those metrics moving in the right direction, as well as how can we at the Oculus Institute help you make progress. So it's totally free. 100%, all you have to do is just go to www 
www.oculusinstitute.com slash purpose quiz, right? Um, no spaces, no dashes, just oculusinstitute.com. That's O-C-U-L-U-S-I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E.com slash purpose quiz. Um, and you can take it totally for free. Uh, you'll get a free report sent to you. And then at the end, it will give you some next steps of what you can do to reach out so that we can help you create the career of your